now to a story that could be straight out of Hollywood. A former mobster living right here in Indianapolis, placed by the FBI under a different identity. Uh, that is until he had to make a tough choice, a sure choice. Continue to hide or be honest about who he was. Tonight, the first of five stunning stories. A life of crime, addiction, and forgiveness. About 800 miles from the streets of New York, and tucked away in this green duplex just north of downtown Indy. If you really think about it, we were predators. A former mobster. I didn't become an informant to get out of jail. Living an honest life. So what do you want me to call you? Well, you can call me Matt or John. John, as in John Franzis. After his father, notorious mob boss, John Sonny Franzis. My family will never call me Matt. To, me, to them, I'm all John. I'm always John. And this is our chore board. Right his now, friends here in Indianapolis know him as Matt Pazzarelli. The name he chose when entering the FBI's witness protection program back in 2006. Oh, sure, there's a lot of people that might want to kill me, that hate me, that will never understand it. I, I think I have a few family members that I understand their feelings. The decision to cooperate with the FBI came after living a life of crime. We preyed on anyone and anything we thought we wanted and used any type of means to take from what others worked for and make it ours. A life that drove him to addiction and a desperate desire to stay clean that made him do the unthinkable, wear a wire, and testify against his own father. I was like, I even got to stand on one side of the fence or the other. And I thought a lot about what people would think, and I thought a lot about what I would think, and I, um, and the, and the decision I made, the decision. Um, I love my dad. I love him as a man. I think he made the wrong choice. I chose to uh, do whatever I could to stop that choice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, just scratching the surface. Tomorrow night, we take a closer look at John's decision to turn on his father and work with the FBI and how that led him right here to Indianapolis. Meanwhile, later in the week, we speak with Wish TV Colts insider Zach Kiefer, who worked in the original print story on John. And we spend time with John as he helps others on the road to recovery. Again, one of five stories that we'll be airing all week long right here on Wish TV. Wow. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, good right. stuff. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh,